This is a quick tutorial on using the writing tools in Google Classroom when students are using tablets or phones. So here's a student in Classroom. They have solving equations here. It looks like the teacher has already added a Google Doc. The directions say to use the writing tool to solve the equation. So the student can click here. It will open up the document and you can see the top right hand corner you have a pen and you have a box with an arrow that will take you out to the Google Doc. Now the students don't want to go to the Google Doc if they want to use the pen tool. What happens is it changes it into a PDF and allows the student to write with a stylus or their finger on the tablet. So here we have an equation and the student works that out. And then the student needs to hit save. Unlike other Google documents, this is a PDF, have to hit the save button in the corner. It attaches this file in Classroom and the student can turn that in. Now let's take a look at the teacher view. Let me change accounts here. And we'll take a look at the turned in assignment because as a teacher, you also have the ability to write on that. And so let's look, we have one done assignment and we'll click on student work. You can see the original document I attached in the blue Google Doc and then the PDF the student turned in. I can click on that, see their work. Oh, I can see they missed a step here. I'll click on the pen tool. And although they are correct, I might want to show the division step there. When I save that, when I return this, in, this assignment to the student, they will be able to see my edited notes as well. Let's look at one other option students have, or a couple of options really. Back into the student. And let's look at this create slides here. Now, there are no attachments from the teacher and so the student can click add attachment. They can select new PDF and it gives them the whiteboard effect that they can write on. If the student were to need multiple pages, you could have them create a deck of new slides. Now, inside of slides, you can't use the writing tool. I am dragging my finger across there. I can, however, add several slides and change the format to just blank slides there. And then I go back into Classroom and I know this is a roundabout way, but this gives you multiple pages. They have this deck of slides that they can now open, and it will open into that PDF window where they could write on it. And they could go to the next slide and write again. and save that. It does nothing to the slide deck in Google Slides. It will still just be an empty slide deck. So unless you need the multiple pages, PDF is the easiest route if students are going to add their own attachment. And that's it to using the draw, drawing tools in Google. So thanks again for joining me for this tutorial. Hope to see you again at Teacher Tech Cafe.